Hello again, everyone. It's been a while since I've shared a new fountain pen, uh, and actually now I have two to share. This is this video is just going to be covering this one, and then I'm going to do another video about another one that I got. And this is actually so I, I've mentioned this on the channel before. I'd ordered a handmade pen with in a particular style in a particular color from the Carolina Pen Company, and I literally ordered this almost two years ago and it finally came recently and it, it was actually a month or two ago that I got this and I just haven't had time to to film anything so this is just the case and then the case came with it or the sleeve came with it which is kind of nice and then I'm going to take this out which is their lovely abalone blank so the blank is from Brooks Blanks um, which is affiliated with Carolina Pen Company or, you know, basically the same thing. <laughs> um, and I had them, because it had been so long, they asked me right before they were going to make it if I wanted to change anything. And I had um, originally said that I just wanted it in like a regular gloss finish. And I said, you know, go ahead and put it in a satin finish. And I'm really happy I did because it's really, really pretty. I have another um, sort of lavender colored uh, abalone like this. It's not real abalone. It's, <laughs> I was going to say it's precious resin, but it's plastic, you know, you know. Um, yeah, so I have one in a purple one that's sort of like this and it's in a satin finish and it's really, really pretty. So that's why I thought it would work for this as well. And it definitely did. So I am going to do a pen test, but uh, some of you may know and others may not, which I will tell you, uh, they just use regular Yovo nibs. So if you've written with a Yovo nib before, it's going to be the same as this. I, and a lot of handmade fountain pens are usually either Yovo or Buck and in the nib brands. So a lot of it is, you know, swappability of, of nibs and the style is really what you're paying for here. So, uh, and, you know, one of the reasons why this kind of broke my uh, no spend on fountain pens is that it was ordered two years ago. <laughs> so I am going to dip test this. I'm not going to fill it with ink. I'm only going to dip test it, which is why I have a bottle of ink here. And this cannot be posted, which is a is a deal breaker for some people, but that's true of a lot of hand turned pens. Um, I don't need to close it because I don't; it's not inked up. So I'm gonna take this. This little pen sleeve is from Rickshaw, and you can actually get a variety of pen sleeves from Rickshaw in a variety of styles. They have different fabrics that you can put on. Um, clearly, they have a deal with several companies to make um, products with their name on it. But you can get single pen sleeves, you can get multiple pen sleeves. They have a, a lot of pen, fountain pen related uh, holders. So they're a great place to check out. And uh, so for now, I'm going to put this off to the side. This was just sort of the extra that came there. And in order to test this pen, I'm actually going to test it in my planner because I have really good paper in my planner and it's what I had here. And sadly, I have not been using my planner very much. Things have been crazy busy, just too busy for me to paper plan, basically. And um, yeah, we've had a lot of things to repair around the house, and it just seems to be like a cascading <laughs> kind of problem. I won't go into it. I, I would bore you with all of the woes of home ownership, but I tell you, it's better than having a landlord. I, I've had so many really terrible landlords that uh, I'm glad to fix my own problems, even if even if they never get fixed. Anyway, so, uh, so I haven't had time to paper plan, so I have plenty of blank pages here, so I'll go ahead and open it up. I'd marked a page already that was blank, and it's for September 8th and 9th, and we'll go, I'll go ahead and put it on this day here. And I chose an Ackerman ink to test this with. Part of the reason why I chose that is because it has, their bottles have this lovely little reservoir up here where, um, so base, I'll show you how it works. You basically um, turn it upside down and then you turn it right side up and there's a little ball in here that lifts up when you turn it upside down and then goes down when you, when you put it right side up and then it traps that amount of ink 
in there. So that's kind of nice for a dip test because I can just, I know I'll be able to get to the ink in the little reservoir on the top. So like I said, this is an Ackerman ink. It is a blue, but I, oh my goodness. It's, it's basically like an indigo blue. <laughs> There's the name if you want to go and find it on uh, Ackerman's website. And see, even when I'm holding it this way, some of the ink is glug, glug, glugging back into the bottle. You can kind of see, and you might even be able to see that ball in there now. But, uh, so I'm gonna turn it over again, turn it back over. I'm gonna leave it for a second just so that, you know, it settles a tiny bit and oh no <laughs> I, I chose a bottle let me let me see if I can do this with it there we go okay it's sometimes when you haven't opened a bottle in a little while it uh, it seals for you it has a very nice sealing top though which is which is a nice aspect I purchased these um, or this Ackerman ink anyway from um, directly from their website and they're located in the Netherlands. So, but, and actually I found that with shipping, it was either the same or cheaper than buying it here in the United States because it's really expensive here. So there you go. And uh, for those of you that may not have seen my prior planner video, um, this is a Franklin Christoph in the model O2 in a, in a special edition color that's not available anymore. I think it was, in collaboration with Van S. Pens, but that is not available anymore. But because it's on camera, I kind of wanted to tell you about it. Um, the Model O2 is available, and it's my favorite model because you can cap it, you, and it doesn't get too long, or post it when, and it doesn't get too long when you post it. And I find it really comfortable to write with. I have a pretty far away grip, so here with this, uh, let me find out what model this is, and I'll tell you because I can't remember which model I ordered. Um, but this has the threads pretty far back. So that works for me as far as holding um, my pen because I do like to hold it kind of far back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip it and then test it. Oh my God, they, so they tune their nibs before they send them out and this is a great nib. Although, <laughs> so I just wanted to test it like that and there, there I am running out of ink. So this is a medium, I believe, and it has their their logo on the nib, but it is a Yovo nib. And I think you can actually buy nibs from them, which, you know, is like the, the average price of nibs. I think maybe it's a whole nib unit, but uh, you can get them with their logo on it. They actually, I don't know if they have these anymore, but they used to have really cool etched uh, owls on some nibs. I've been tempted to get one, but with shipping, it's just like, it's too much for a nib and I, you know, I don't really need another nib, <laughs> um, but you can get that there. So like I said, I, well, let me cap up this ink, but you get kind of a nice thick line with this medium Yovo nib on this Brooks blank AKA Carolina Pen Company hand turned pen. Uh, I would say, you know, it might be better to buy these um, not direct from them <laughs> just because it took so long. I mean, they're, they're doing all kinds of business all over the place. Uh, so they, they, they outsource, well, they, not outsource, but they're, they're, uh, they're doing bulk deals with a lot of different places so they probably don't have a lot of time to do individual pens um but i mean was this worth the two-year wait i don't know but it's really pretty um and it'll make a nice addition to my uh hand turned fountain pen collection and it writes really well i may just leave this nib on because it it writes perfectly well um i've also not been really getting any modified nibs except for the pen that you're going to see the next on the next video where I do a pen. <laughs> you'll you'll see that there. But anyway, I won't go into that. But this is about the Carolina Pen Company pen that has been years in the making and years in the waiting and uh here it is. It's very pretty and I highly recommend trying out a satin finish if you get uh to do a custom made pen because uh the satin finish is really quite nice, I think. And it's nice with this light, it doesn't shine, so you can actually see, or it doesn't super reflect off of it, so you can actually see the 
the pretty resin there that they made this out of. And they make they make their own blanks, so that are really popular. The they sell their blanks, and then also other companies make pens out of their blanks. So that might be another option if you like this particular look, but you don't um, don't want to wait a really long time for Carolina Pen Company to make your pen. Uh, but like I said, I will look up the model of this and then uh, put that in the description box below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.